Hello and welcome to the Extra CMS. In this short video tutorial, we will learn how to use the Extra Gallery module. The Extra Gallery module allows you to create and rearrange image galleries to show on your website. This is the home screen. From here, under the Edit Site section, under Galleries, click Manage Galleries to get started. Here you will see a list of all your galleries in a table. You can click on the headings of the table to sort the list of galleries or use the search bar to find a specific gallery. Under the Actions column, you can edit or delete a gallery. You can use these icons to manage the galleries on your website. If you would like to create a gallery, you can click the button that says Add Gallery at the top right. Once your gallery is created, it will appear here for you to manage. Here you can name your gallery which will be used to identify it in the CMS. Once you have named your gallery, click Create Gallery. Now you'll be taken back to manage your galleries and you can now click the Edit button to start adding images to your gallery. In order to add images to your gallery, click the Add Image button and a new window will open up allowing you to choose which images you would like to add to the gallery. You can choose from the drop down at the top to sort through your images and when you find an image you would like to add, simply click on it and it will go into the gallery. You can add as many images as you like to the gallery. Once more than one image has been added to the gallery, you can start rearranging them in any order you like. To order images, click and drag the images vertically and when you let go of your mouse button, the image will be in its new place and the CMS will automatically save the gallery and its order. If you are unsure of what to do, there are always instructions next to the Add Image button. Next, we can look at creating a page to feature a gallery. If we navigate back to the home screen, you can click on Manage Pages. Here you can manage your pages just like the galleries. You actually have some more options under the Actions column, which are Edit, Print and View. You can create a new page by clicking Add Gallery Item at the top right and create a page to feature your gallery. It is just like adding a page but there is an extra section called Select Gallery where you can select your created gallery. I am going to fill this page out with some example text and click Publish. Now if we look at the live website, we can see my new page with my created gallery. Now let's look at creating a category for the galleries. If we navigate back to the home screen, we can click Manage Categories. On this page, you can manage your current categories or create a new one by clicking the Add Gallery Category button at the top right. When adding a gallery category, you can choose a category name, give it a parent category, choose the name it will show up as on the menu and make a directory name. When you have done this, click Publish. Lastly, let's look at managing blocks within the gallery module. If you navigate back to the home screen and click on Manage Blocks, we will be taken to a page where you can manage your content blocks within the Gallery module. In order to create a new Gallery block, click Add Gallery Block at the top right. Gallery blocks are used to display different blocks of content at a fixed position on each page. The position of these blocks is determined by the template, so you simply need to create a block of content that can be selected when creating or editing your pages. If you are unsure at any point using the extra CMS, hover your mouse over the question marks and they will show you useful tooltips to help you along.
Another tutorial will be available to watch on the Extra Articles with Documents module, which is a very similar module to the Extra Articles module, except you can attach documents such as PDFs for users to download. Thank you for watching our tutorial on how to use the Extra Gallery module on your website using the Extra CMS. Feel free to check out our other tutorials on our YouTube page.